Hey guys, this is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you how to open your Master Lock Lockbox Model 5400D. So, you might not be a locksmith, and you might just have one of these that you forgot the code to. It might have been left on the home you just purchased, and you're thinking, hey, maybe if I can figure out the combination, I could keep this thing. So, normally, to decode one of these, I would use something like this. I purchased this from Sparrow's Lockpicks. It's called the Ultra Decoder Tool, and it costs somewhere around $14, $15. And I mainly purchased because of this heavy duty, comfortable looking handle. And I figured it would sit better in a pick kit than just a flimsy shim. So maybe you're not a locksmith and you don't have one of these. You might have in your refrigerator a soda can or a beer can, whatever it may be. You want to go ahead and cut out a sliver like this. And from here, you'll take a pair of scissors and you want to cut just a little sliver. About like so. And you'll end up with something like this. And from here, it's a little long, so I'm gonna cut off just that little twist there at the bottom, and we'll move him out of the way. Now you end up with something like this. From here, we'll set this aside, and we have zeroed out our lock here. I don't know the combination to this, so we're gonna go ahead and figure it out together. You always want to zero out regardless of the combination lock you are trying to decode, you always want to zero it out so that way you start with a clean slate. From here, you will take your shim and you will insert it just to the left of the bottom number on the code wheel. Here we have a zero, so our bottom number is a nine. You'll go ahead and insert your shim just to the left of him and let him fall in until he stops. Don't force him in. And from here, you will rest your finger on top. Don't put any pressure as you don't want to bend and twist the shim. And as you do this, you will go ahead and start moving to the next number until you feel the shim move upwards. This one, as you can see, it just kind of I don't know if the camera picks that up, but my finger is moving up. So that tells me that this is a 2. We'll go ahead and move to the next wheel. We'll slide him all the way in. And we will go ahead and start again. 1, 2, 3, 4. That one raised up just a little bit there back down, and up. So we're going to call this one a four. We'll go to our next wheel, and we'll just start spinning. One, two, three, four, five, six dropped. When you feel a drop, you know you're close. I have noticed that with this model you know, specifically, seven dropped even more, eight comes back up. See that? So we're going to go ahead and say that's an eight. So, so far we have two, four, eight. We'll go to our fourth and final wheel, and we will try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nothing on eight, nine dropped. And you see that I'm kind of pushing on my finger, but that raised, there we fall. And we come back up on zero. So from here, we now have two, four, eight, zero. Now you're thinking, okay, cool, that's my combination. Uh, no, you're wrong. This video is terrible. Well, all you have to do is move each wheel down one number, so two to three, four to five, eight to nine, zero to one, try it again, 
and we now have our lock open. You'll see in here it says release. You will push this tab to the left and you are able to take it off of the chain link fence or the doorknob, whatever it's on. And from here, let's say we want to reset. We move this little tab over and down. So to the left and down. And from here, we'll go ahead and just make this all zeros. And after you have your combination, which is all zeros, for us, you move it back to its original position, close it, scramble it around, it no longer opens. We'll go ahead and zero it back to normal. And we have a now working lockbox. So that's really all there is to this video. Feel free to leave a like if this helped you. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good day and just stay safe out there.